Michael Navy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching, if you can share this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands that I feature. And today I'm here with Augur. How are you doing today? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Good, good, good. Uh, it's great to have you. Like I said, we've been both following each other on social media for a while, so it's great to talk to you and have you on the channel. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, definitely. And you want to start off now and tell us a little bit of uh, history about the band and how the band started? Yeah, so um, we formed in the July of 2017, um, me and my friend and uh, uh, guitarist in the band, Kieran. Uh, we were in a uh, sort of a theatrical metal band at first, and we weren't happy with the thing, the way things were going. And it just out of nowhere, we just sort of wrote a few songs and they and they sort of had a quite cool sound to them. So it was sort of born over maybe about a 24 hour period from there not being a band to there being a, a couple of songs. Um, and yeah, ever since we've we've done quite a few shows. Been fortunate enough to visit a lot of great places uh, as well. Um, and yeah, we think we're on, our, we're on our third album with more material on the way. So there's a uh, nothing stopping the the Olga train, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've been uh, putting out an album a year. It seems. Is that what you plan to continue? You think? Yeah, we, we are. We certainly have a lot of ideas, and we, we get them down. Fortunate enough uh, as well to I, I produce everything in house. So, uh, we, if we have an idea, we, it's quite easy for us to put it down and experiment with it, and then get it out there um, without sort of needing the, the the to go into a studio sort of thing. So yeah, it has meant that we're sort of putting out an album or new material all the time. I think for this year, there's going to be a series of singles uh, and maybe an EP, uh, just to sort of break it up a little bit. But um, yeah, so 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 far, three years, three albums. <laughs> Perhaps we need to slow down a little bit as to not uh, completely run out of ideas. Mm -hmm. of ideas. But um, we, we, we always get new. We, we like making music and we like the music that we make. So we're never going to stop making it, if, if, if that makes sense. You know, we, we enjoy the process. We enjoy getting our, our, our ideas out there. So why not put, put an album out every year? And the new music you're going to be releasing soon, what type of sound style is that? Because I know you have a lot of different styles in your music, some more rock, more electronic, goth, goth dark wave. There's a lot of different elements in your music. Yeah, definitely. I think that comes from a lot of different influences. I'm I'm into sort of my electronic stuff, but most in my my, my 80s music, uh, whereas Kieran enjoys sort of the modern metal with the gajiras and, and what have you. So I feel like it's it's always a blend of whatever idea comes to mind. Uh, the, the new stuff is sort of, um, it, it's very varied again. It's sort of, um, there's a, a nice blend of um, electronic um in there and with some heavier guitars obviously with the whole uh, coronavirus situation it's been um perhaps the songs are a little bit more electronic based where kieran hasn't been able to come around and put his spin on it but then what he has done he's really transformed the songs and given it another another edge so it all really depends what we're listening to at any given point so like uh with, with, with the the last album we listened to a lot of depeche mode at the time so the album ended up having quite sort of a depeche mode spin this time i've been listening to well, all sorts of stuff, some more ambient stuff as well, like bands like Daughter, but then some heavier stuff like Motionless in White. So maybe that will come across in this. And also a lot of him as well, which I'd, I'd forgotten about for ages and, 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 and come back to. So, yeah, I feel like this one will have perhaps a more rocky sound, but it, it, the, it will still be different from song to song. It will still vary quite a lot. We like to sort of, as, as, as I said before, we make music that we like. So you know because we like a lot of different music it always comes out different and and, and that's i think that's that that's healthy and it it means that we can put on a, a varied show and there's something for everyone and now you said you started off with the metal so i guess that heavier vibe will probably always be there oh yeah definitely yeah we were actually for a lot of the new stuff we've tuned the guitars even further down than they were so we're, we're working with um drop a sharp so it's a, a a much heavier sort of tone kieran's big into his metal and I think there's some more scope to write some really heavy riffs, but we never, we always like to make our music um, melodic um, and, 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 and listenable. So we never go down the route of making something that's really thrashy or, or off-puttingly heavy. If it has heavy tones in it, it's still coupled with a non-aggressive voice or some more sort of angelic synths just to sort of balance it out. We don't like making anything that's too, too heavy, but we do like the heavier sound. We try and incorporate as much of that as possible whilst still sort of keeping it very um, listenable. Awesome. I see you uh, recently did a pretty long uh, live stream. You plan on doing some more live streams like that? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that live stream went on for five hours and 15 minutes, I think, in the end. That was the longest one I've ever done. We, they're, they're normally about three hours, but I thought, you know what? I think it got to it got to, to past three, and I was like, oh, this is quite good. And then, I, and then I'd forgotten about it and zoned out and then came back, and it was four and a half. And I thought, well, it would be a shame if we didn't stretch it to five. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been good. It's, I, I, I never want to stop when I do these, these live shows. And the same when we're actually on the stage as well. It's... If we could keep playing forever, we we just would, and I think that's testament to it. And I think we're in a pretty a pretty rubbish situation with, you know, people can't go to gigs or even just go out the house. So if we can provide anything, any any entertainment whatsoever, we'll we'll do it, even if it is rambling. You know, in between songs for five hours, people seem to enjoy it, and it gives them something to do. And and yeah, it's been it's, it's been really good and really really fun. It certainly built up my um, acoustic playing repertoire. <laughs> I want to ask, how's the uh, lockdown uh, restrictions and stuff where you're at now? Because I know it's a little different. Oh, than- God. It's, it's, it's all a bit strange, as, as I'm sure it is everywhere. We, we sort of we went into a lockdown in, in March and then it sort of it sort of it, it didn't necessarily get lifted, but it sort of fizzled out. And then they brought another one in and then it, that fizzled out again. And then they brought another one in. It, it, it just seems to be. For, for the first few weeks, people sort of follow it um, and then people sort of start to bend the rules. And as soon as they start to bend them, they see opportunities and it just goes. It's been a bit it's been a bit sort of um, a, a weak standpoint, but it is what it is. Uh, the, the government are very um, keen on getting vaccinations out there. They have a very ambitious plan to get as many people vaccinated as possible. So hopefully that works and and we can resume to normality as as, as soon as possible but it is it's strange because it's supposed to be like for example it's supposed to be only um essential shops open um and yet i can go to i, I picked up a black sheet from dunham mill which is like a, a soft furnishing shop but i was like pretty sure that's not essential i mean it's good because i needed one but um so I, i'm not really sure i don't think anyone's paying much attention but i hope it doesn't have the negative impact of making it worse or prolonging it any longer than it needs to go on for we're, we're very eager to to get out and and you know see resume what we were doing and and all the tours and stuff so the, the sooner it's sorted the better so we're all doing our bit hopefully and and fingers crossed it'll all sort itself out soon any uh, future plans to maybe come to the united states sometime oh definitely yeah what one one thousand percent it's something that we've, we've always wanted to do um it's always a bit of a, a goal any band in, in in europe always thinks you know america it's a whole separate continent it's a it's the place to be um and then throughout the years we've we've cultivated quite a few fans over in america and um in um, mexico as well and even as far as brazil so the whole the whole uh, continents so it's, it'll be great to go and those people have obviously not been able to see a live show because we're so far away but they have been able to enjoy the uh, live stream so it's been really great that they've been able to have a, a small taste of what auger is about and hopefully soon we can go over to the us and we'll probably make a tour of it and do sort of 10 dates in a row and then it makes the the trip worthwhile and yeah it's, it's, it's definitely something that's on the cards for the future yeah the us actually has a really good scene and even some festivals and stuff so i'm sure you All can right. those or and when the yeah. time comes, let me know, and I'll let you know what's going on around, so then you know too. Uh, you know, the yeah, brilliant. Scene. Yeah, it's it's always interesting to see what different scenes are in different countries, and I, I often forget that it's it's bigger than just the, the 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 German scene, which seems to be the sort of the hot spot of it. It's, it's it's much much wider than that. So it'd be great to to explore it, and and we've always found that um, the American fans have always been the most enthusiastic when it comes to the. Uh, the live streams they're always you know talking and 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 bigging us up so it'd be really great to go and see that it for first first hand so definitely the first opportunity we get we'll, we'll we will get over to the united states and uh put our mark on the on the great uh, <laughs> awesome. USA. now if people want to look you up online find your music on social media how do they do that uh so the easiest way um is to go onto our website which is www.orga.band uh, it's A-U-G-E-R. And then from there, we've, I've made this list of all the contacts we're on, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, VK, 
uh, bands in town song as a whole host of uh, all our contacts are on there and the links to spotify as well and apple music so if you want to listen to us or want to check us out or follow us that is the place to go and i say we're, we're on all, all, all the social medias um everywhere and including uh, twitter as well which is where we know you also i want to say uh, tell us a little about about the setup behind you it's it's really cool I see the skull <laughs> the cars the lights it's sort of it's been a, a a growing collection from the live streams i normally set the camera i've got a softbox here which is why i, I look look so uh, well lit <laughs> um but uh, we normally have to set up the live stream so um, I bought the skull for the Halloween one to try and be a bit more appropriate. Um, the, the the lights are from the Christmas live stream, the, the fairy lights. Um, and then the piano I've had for, oh, I bought that piano for a pound on eBay. Um, so that's, that's the, the, it's horribly out of tune, but it, it looks good. And then one of our, one of our flags as well. So, <laughs> and there's a, a whole host of, I'm in sort of a, we were, I have a, a garage offset from the house that's going to be the, uh, it's like a, an outbuilding. It's going to be the recording studio, but because of COVID, it's not been done. So my recording studio is now in the dining room. So there is a huge mixing desk and guitars everywhere, and and the piano in the corner. So um, I'm sort of taking up a lot of the room in the house, but it's fine. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> so now about the uh, new music coming out. Do you have a release date? You think or time frame for a new EP album? Um, not 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 as such uh, a release date uh, we wanted to get it out as soon as possible but also we want to do it right and make sure it's not rushed and the song's ready the video is ready for the first single but as i said it's going to be five or six of them so the plan is to sort of release one a month or maybe with a longer gap or a shorter gap to try and get them all out within maybe about four or five months so that people have a nice uh, something to listen to with the aim that by the end of it maybe there's an ep that comes out with, with all the songs plus a few extras and then we can do a live show with that so hopefully whenever whenever that time period ends it will end with an, an actual show because it'd be a shame to we released our last album and and then the whole thing happens so we haven't actually played any of our songs live yet from that album so it'd be it'd be really difficult to to release six or seven more and then still have 14 to play on the other album with only an hour slot live um, without doing a million shows. So yeah, ho hopefully soon. We're, we're just waiting on a few things to come back. Um, and hopefully hopefully we have some sort of date period, but they're all, we're just sort of collating all of the things together. So the, the music video, the single, and then putting them in a folder. So hopefully it will start to build up. And then when we can release, we'll, people will have a nice long spread of new organ music uh, to enjoy. And is this whole current pandemic situation like influencing some of your music topics, some of the things going on in the world? Yeah, yeah, de um, definitely. I've, I've tried to, I tried not to dwell on it too much because I know it is a hard thing for a lot of people. Um, I try to write the songs about, um, try to keep them sort of positive, more about sort of the hope um, of, 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 of the normality, but also reminiscing on the days when it wasn't so hectic. Um, but without being too specific as to say, you know, sing about the coronavirus in words, it's sort of more you could associate it with that just because I don't want to, um, as I said, it is, it is difficult for a lot of people. Um, I've lost family members through it, so I don't really want to dwell on it too much to, to upset people, but hopefully give them something to look forward to, something to listen. And then if they can resonate with it in a certain way that makes them feel better then then, then brilliant so that's that that's the sort of aim so it's although the lyrically it's not specifically inspired the the idea behind it is to boost spirits within the period sort of thing so yeah, yeah. the positivity of music helps so many people like it's great how so many artists yeah. stay focused continued there's lots of good great music coming out it's really inspired yeah, it's brilliant and it sort of it keeps people going especially when within our scene a lot of people when they do go out to these gigs it's 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 quite a big event for them and they they wait for them for months and then they come along and they you know they make a whole weekend out of it sometimes and you take that away from a, a group of fairly um introverted people and it and it can really affect their their sort of mental health so you know by releasing music and then keeping in touch and doing live streams and and sort of doing that it's hopefully it sort of helps Bring them some comfort during this time and, and us some comfort as well to sort of get out there and then everyone can be in the highest spirits then for then going back to gigs and don't, don't lose all hope because it is it is difficult and it's it's very lonely as well this whole thing so 
um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's amazing how big of support the scene has. Like a couple of years ago, I went out to Amphi Festival in Germany, and there's like twenty thousand people. Oh, it's mad, isn't it? It's great. I, I was there um, 2019. It was absolutely fantastic. The first time I'd ever been. Um, I shared the stage with um, Massive Ego. We did a, a song together. So, um, but that it was it was it was incredible to see, and everyone was just so enthusiastic and. It was amazing. Like I, I struggle is to find people that like the same music as I do. You know, especially in this scene because it, it's quite underground. But you can go to a festival. There's there's literally thousands of people that all like the same music, and it's it, it was it was mind blowing. It's like I saw T-shirts of bands that I thought no one had heard of, and I thought, oh my god, <laughs> it was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it was good having you and talking with you and everyone. Look yeah, at like Excellent stuff.